What's going on fellas? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Grizz. Today we're going to be in Black Ops 4 Zombies on the new DLC 1 map, Dead of the Night. This map here is pretty awesome, but I'm going to be showing you how to get silver bullets. You can upgrade your bullets to have silver bullets where you'll stand a better chance against all special enemy types. I'm going to be showing you how to do that today. We're going to be collecting six different parts, but if you haven't already, be sure to drop a like on this video and be sure to subscribe. If you're new around here, I'd love to have you along, so activate that bell notification so you can stay up to date with all the latest zombies news. So we need to collect six parts. The first three parts I'm going to be showing you is building the silver casing. So right here in the dining room is going to be your first two spots, two locations. Right there on the bench and on the edge of the table. So now we have two locations for the first part. And for the third part, we need to head across the mansion to the west hallway. And in the west hallway, right next to a nightstand, which you'll see next to a bench, will be our third location for the urn. It's in the shape of an urn, so I'm just going to call it that. The second part is called a plate, but it kind of looks like a bowl. We're going to be heading into the wine cellar here where we can collect it there on the wooden table. That's one of two locations. The second location will be on the other side of the wall in between the shelving of the wine casing. So two locations there. The third part that we're going to be collecting here is a candle stand candle stand has three locations this is the first one in the entrance hall second location is in the billards room right there on the floor you'll be able to find it and then the third location is going to be in the main area where the zoo statue is well a huge statue in the main hall right here next to this urn so there you go now we have three parts we are able to melt the silver part one is done for the silver casing we now need to move on to part number two which is gathering three different sets of ingredients which also have three different locations. The first part of three parts that we got to collect is vampire poop. That's right. Right in the cemetery, right next to where the perk machine is, there's a tree. That's the first location. Right here's the second location, right in front of that little statue there. The third location, if we come around this bend, will be located right here on the right hand side. So those are the three locations for the vampire poop. We're going to pick that up and then we'll have one of three parts. So we have two more parts to go. The second part is actually charcoal. This one has three locations next to fireplaces. And the main hall is going to be our first location. Go ahead and pick up that charcoal right there next to the fireplace. we got two other fireplaces that this could possibly be at. Right inside the master bedroom is a fireplace, and that fireplace might have the charcoal as well. So the third location for the charcoal can also be in the billiards room. If we head over here right next to this fireplace, you'll notice possibly a third location. So this is where it will be located. And then we have one more part to go, which is the sulfur. And all three locations are here in the greenhouse area. Right here, once you enter on the left on this desk, and then straight across on the other desk, which is right next to it, there's two locations there that the sulfur can be at. Then we have one more location in here, which is straight across next to the portal, which you can go at on the left table here. You'll notice the sulfur. Go ahead and pick that up. And now we have three parts, which makes a total of six parts total that we have and now we can actually melt the silver. So we're going to head down into the wine cellar area next to the buildable table and melt the silver. Build at the table and it will do so and we're going to collect that part. So what we've done is we've replaced the three parts that we collected with melted silver. We need to take that melted silver over to the library to that buildable table and start building because this is going to allow us to craft silver bullets. And this is what we want. We can apply this to each of our weapons and the first time you pick it up it's free. The next time there is a fee, and I'm going to be showing you that. So we're picking up the silver bullets on one weapon, and then I'm going to be switching to my secondary and trying to pick them up as well. And you'll notice that it costs money. So you can keep buying silver bullets here for as many times as you need, and it will tell you that it's fully loaded with silver bullets. You can keep coming back to this buildable table and buying silver bullets, and it's going to help you in those high rounds. So this is something I highly recommend. For everybody, add this with your Pack-a-Punch, add this with your double Pack-a-Punch modules, your modifiers. You're going to have a really powerful weapon set on this map, Dead of the Night. I will also be doing a Pack-a-Punch tutorial. Once that's finished, I will have it as the top link in the description box below. I highly recommend you learn how to Pack-a-Punch your weapon on this map. And if you already know how to, be sure to stay tuned. Subscribe. I'm going to be having a lot more updates and patch notes as we move along throughout this Black Ops Pass and glitches every now and then when they come through. So subscribe to the Zombies community. I'd love to have you along. Love to keep you informed and updated as we move through this season. I'll see you in the next video. Violent out.